today i am going to talk about the concept of mongodb arbiter to understand arbiter first you have to be familiar with the replica set concept of mongodb a replica set in mongodb is a group of mongo process that maintain the same data set the primary goal of replica sets is redundancy and high availability and this is the basic for all production in the first picture you can see a basic replica set structure of mongodb where one primary and two secondary takes place if a client uh, wants to communicate with this replica set he uh, he can uh, read uh, only read on the primary but uh, write on the primary but can read from the both secondary and primary if the read preference is set to secondary preferred he can uh, read from the secondary and if the read preference is set to primary preferred he can read from the primary and uh, also you can see that there is a replication process uh, going on uh, from the primary to second and two secondaries yeah, in the uh, replication process, uh, the uh, the secondary is actually uh, replicating the upload from the primary, not the actual data. So if a client uh, wants to execute some command on the primary and uh, the secondaries will uh, actually uh, replicate those commands and execute on in itself. In the second picture, you can see uh, a replica set structure from the internal point of view where uh, where the heartbeat has been uh, is being used to know uh, the other nodes are live or not. Let's uh, now uh, add an arbiter uh, in replace of a secondary node. An arbiter is a priority zero member and it is one vote and uh, it's, uh, it uh, can't replicate data onto it. An arbiter is a member of MongoDB replica set. It uh, doesn't have a copy of data set and uh, cannot become primary. In some circumstances, such as uh, when you have a primary and a secondary, but uh, cost constraints prohibit another adding another secondary. Uh, in that case, you may choose to add an arbiter to a replica set. Replica sets may have arbiters to add a vote in election for primary. Arbiters always have exactly one election vote and thus allow replica sets to have an uneven number of voting members without the over overhead of an additional member that replicates data. And in the fourth picture, you can uh, see that uh, there, uh, this is a complex structure of MongoDB replica set where uh, private digital hidden and delete can be added. Now uh, let's talk about uh, the election, why uh, this is so important. In the first picture, you can see that uh, Two secondaries is actually replicating data from the primary, and they know each other if it if they are alive or not by the heartbeat message. Now uh, let's uh, let's see that if one primary goes down, and uh, a election will be evicted, and now a new node which was uh, previously secondary uh, has been elected to primary. So if you initialize a replica set or if you uh, step down the primary or if you uh, reconfig your replica set uh, one election will be evicted and the uh, mainly uh, after if if after 10 seconds uh, of heartbeat message if the secondaries and arbiter uh, can't communicate with the primary and a new uh, election will be taking place so uh, this is the primary election and uh, if we uh, we add arbiter uh, this will be an uneven member of voting members without the overhead of additional member that replicates data now in mongodb shard you can see that uh, the shard is actually one uh, replica set structure this one one replica set and this one another replica set so in this uh, sharded cluster you can use arbiter 2 and uh, that's it uh, for me, so thank you.